Ancient Egypt, a land of pharaohs, pyramids, and unparalleled craftsmanship. How did they achieve such precision in their stonework? The sheer scale and intricacy of their creations continue to baffle modern observers. Could they have used tools similar to our modern circular saws thousands of years before their supposed invention? The evidence, etched into the very stones themselves, demands our attention. Let's delve into the mysteries of ancient Egypt and explore the possibility of their advanced stone-cutting technology. The Nile Valley holds countless secrets, whispers of a forgotten past. From the towering obelisks to the massive temple complexes, the evidence of advanced stone-cutting techniques is undeniable. At Karnak, the largest religious structure ever built, we find massive blocks of granite, some weighing hundreds of tons, fitted together with astonishing precision. The marks left behind, the striations and grooves tell a compelling story. Join us as we journey back in time to explore the evidence and unravel the mystery of ancient Egypt's advanced stone-cutting techniques. Deep within the heart of ancient Egypt's monuments, a silent language awaits deciphering. Etched into the very stones we find telltale marks, whispers of the tools used to shape them. These aren't the crude scratches of simple hand tools but precise uniform lines indicative of advanced technology. At Karnak Temple, colossal granite blocks some weighing hundreds of tons bear these enigmatic markings. Straight parallel grooves often millimeters apart run across their surfaces. Copper saws even with abrasive sands would have left behind irregular wavering lines. The smooth, even striations we observe point towards a more advanced tool, one capable of maintaining constant pressure and direction. Could these markings be the fingerprints of circular saws thousands of years before their supposed invention? The unfinished obelisk at Aswan offers perhaps the most compelling evidence of ancient Egypt's advanced stone-cutting technology. Lying abandoned in its quarry, this colossal monument reveals a frozen moment in time, a snapshot of the ancient Egyptians' methods. It measures over 137 feet in length and weighs an estimated 1,168 tons. Yet despite its size, the obelisk exhibits precise cuts and smooth surfaces, indicative of advanced cutting techniques. The most intriguing aspect of the unfinished obelisk is the presence of deep, evenly spaced grooves around its base. The Aswan Enigma challenges us to reconsider our assumptions about ancient Egyptian technology. Beyond the saw marks, another layer of evidence points towards the use of advanced stone-cutting technology in ancient Egypt, the precision of their construction. The pyramids, temples, and obelisks exhibit a level of accuracy that continues to astound modern engineers. The Great Pyramid of Giza, for example, is aligned almost perfectly with the cardinal directions. Inside the pyramids we find intricate passageways and chambers, all carved with incredible accuracy. The joints between the massive stone blocks are so tight that a razor blade cannot be inserted. How could the ancient Egyptians have achieved such precision without advanced technology? To understand the advanced stone-cutting techniques of ancient Egypt, we turn to the meticulous work of Sir William Matthew Flinders Petrie, a pioneering figure in Egyptology. Petrie, renowned for his meticulous excavations and groundbreaking research, left behind a legacy that continues to shape our understanding of this ancient civilization. He meticulously documented and analyzed tools, pottery shards, and other artifacts, believing they held valuable clues to ancient Egyptian life and technology. Petrie's meticulous observations extended to the tools used by ancient Egyptian artisans. His documentation and analysis of these tools provide valuable insights into the technological capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. Among the intriguing tools documented by Petrie, the tube drills stand out as particularly enigmatic. These cylindrical tools, typically made of copper, were used to bore holes into stone, a seemingly simple task that belies the complexity of the technique. Maintaining a straight and true hole required considerable skill and precision, especially when working with hard stones like granite. Petrie, examining these ancient drill holes, noticed something peculiar. 
The spiral grooves around the holes suggested a high feed rate, meaning the drills were cutting through the stone much faster than one would expect with simple hand-powered tools. How could the ancient Egyptians achieve such high drilling speeds with the tools available to them? The high feed rates observed in ancient Egyptian drill holes have led some researchers to propose the use of advanced drilling techniques, possibly involving machinery. One theory suggests the use of bow drills, where a stringed bow was used to rapidly rotate the drill bit. While bow drills were a common tool in ancient times, achieving the precision and speed evident in Egyptian stonework would have required considerable skill and innovation. The use of flywheels or other mechanisms to increase the drilling speed has also been proposed. Another theory proposes the use of a technique known as pump drilling, where a weighted lever arm was used to create a reciprocating motion in the drill. Whether through advanced machinery or innovative techniques, the ancient Egyptians clearly possessed a level of skill and ingenuity that continues to fascinate and inspire us today. The evidence we've explored so far paints a compelling picture. Ancient Egyptians possessed advanced stone-cutting capabilities that challenge our conventional understanding. But if they had tools and techniques comparable to our modern technology, where is the physical proof? The passage of time is a relentless force eroding even the most enduring materials. Organic materials like wood and leather, which may have formed parts of complex machinery, decay rapidly in the Egyptian climate. Even metal tools, if not preserved in ideal conditions, succumb to corrosion and disintegration. Metal, particularly copper and bronze, held significant value and was often recycled. The absence of surviving advanced tools doesn't negate their possible existence. While direct archaeological evidence of circular saws remains elusive, the marks left behind on ancient Egyptian stonework have led some researchers to propose their use. The precision, consistency, and scale of some cuts suggest a tool capable of maintaining constant pressure and speed, characteristics embodied by circular saws. Proponents of this theory point to the uniformity of the grooves found on the unfinished obelisk at Aswan. Critics, however, remain skeptical. They argue that the lack of surviving saws or depictions of such tools in Egyptian art casts doubt on their existence. The debate surrounding the use of circular saws in ancient Egypt highlights the challenges of interpreting archaeological evidence. While the debate over circular saws continues, some researchers propose even more radical theories to explain the advanced stone-cutting techniques of the ancient Egyptians. One such theory suggests the ancient Egyptians possessed knowledge of sonic drilling, a technique that uses high-frequency vibrations to break down rock. Proponents point to the lack of tool marks on some stone surfaces, suggesting a non-contact cutting method. Others propose the use of advanced chemical solutions that could soften stone making it easier to work with. Ancient texts do mention the use of various substances in construction, but their exact composition and properties remain a mystery. While these alternative theories lack concrete evidence, they serve as a reminder that our understanding of the past is constantly evolving. The lack of physical remains of advanced tools like circular saws or other sophisticated machinery fuels the debate surrounding ancient Egyptian technology. Skeptics argue that the absence of such finds undermines the claims of advanced capabilities. Proponents of advanced ancient technology counter that the absence of evidence is not necessarily evidence of absence. They argue that the tools used by the ancient Egyptians could have been made from perishable materials, which would have long since decomposed in the harsh desert environment metal was a valuable resource, and old or broken tools would have been melted down and recycled, leaving no trace of their original form or function. The debate over the missing tools highlights the limitations of relying solely on physical evidence to reconstruct the past. The arid climate of Egypt, while ideal for preserving some artifacts, can be merciless on others. Organic materials such as wood, textiles, and papyrus are particularly susceptible to decay. Even stone seemingly impervious to time can be eroded by wind, sand, and the fluctuating temperatures of the desert. The tools used by the ancient Egyptians, even those made of metal, 
would have been subject to these destructive forces. Unless protected within tombs or other favorable environments, they would have gradually corroded, fragmented, and ultimately disappeared from the archaeological record. The absence of certain artifacts, while frustrating, does not preclude the possibility of their existence. The debate surrounding ancient Egyptian technology challenges us to confront our own biases and assumptions about the past. We often view ancient civilizations through the lens of our own technological progress, assuming that our ancestors were less sophisticated, less inventive, less capable than ourselves. Yet, the evidence suggests that the ancient Egyptians possessed a profound understanding of mathematics, astronomy, engineering, and material science. They developed sophisticated techniques for surveying, quarrying, transporting and shaping massive stones, creating structures that continue to inspire awe and wonder today. The debate over ancient Egyptian technology is not merely an academic exercise. It compels us to reconsider our place in the grand narrative of human history. Section 1. Echoes of Ancient Ingenuity as we stand in the shadow of these ancient wonders, we are humbled by the echoes of ingenuity that resonate through the ages. The evidence etched into the very stones themselves, whispers of a civilization that dared to push the boundaries of human capability. The precision of their cuts, the sheer scale of their projects, and the enduring mystery of their methods challenge us to reconsider our assumptions about the past. The ancient Egyptians left behind more than just colossal structures, they bequeathed us a legacy of innovation, a testament to the power of human curiosity and determination. They remind us that technological advancement is not a linear progression, but a tapestry woven from the threads of ingenuity, experimentation, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. While the debate surrounding their specific techniques continues, one thing remains certain, the ancient Egyptians were masters of their craft. They possessed a deep understanding of geometry, mathematics, and material science, enabling them to manipulate the world around them with astonishing precision. Their achievements stand as a testament to the potential of human ingenuity, even in the absence of what we might consider modern tools and technologies. Section 2. The Unfinished Puzzle the story of ancient Egyptian technology is not a closed book, but an unfinished puzzle, with each new discovery revealing another tantalizing piece. The lack of surviving tools and machinery, while frustrating, should not be interpreted as a lack of sophistication. Instead it should fuel our curiosity, prompting us to explore alternative explanations and to consider the possibility that our current understanding is incomplete. Future research, employing cutting-edge technologies like 3D laser scanning, ground-penetrating radar and chemical analysis, may yet reveal the hidden secrets of ancient Egyptian workshops. Perhaps beneath the sands, buried within forgotten tombs, or concealed within the walls of their monumental creations, lie the tools and technologies that have eluded us for so long. Until then, we must remain open to all possibilities, embracing the ambiguity and acknowledging that our journey into the past is an ongoing process of discovery. The search for answers, however, should not overshadow the wonder and admiration we feel for a civilization that, millennia later, continues to inspire and intrigue us. Section 3. A Legacy of Innovation The legacy of ancient Egyptian technology extends far beyond the sands of time. It serves as a source of inspiration for modern engineers, architects, and innovators, who continue to marvel at the scale and precision of their achievements. The pyramids, temples, and obelisks stand as a testament to the enduring power of human ingenuity, reminding us that, with vision, determination, and a deep understanding of natural laws, remarkable feats are possible. The ancient Egyptians did not leave behind detailed blueprints or technical manuals. Their knowledge was passed down through generations, a testament to the power of oral tradition and apprenticeship. Yet even in the absence of written records, their legacy of innovation continues to inspire and challenge us. As we continue to unlock the secrets of ancient Egyptian technology, we gain a deeper appreciation not only for their ingenuity, but also for the interconnectedness of human knowledge across time and cultures. Their achievements stand as a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge is a timeless endeavor, and that the lessons learned from the past can continue to shape and inspire the innovations of the future.